East Asians, both here in the United States and Canada, as well as in their home continents, that's Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans, average a slightly higher IQ than do white people. Uh, the average I have there is 106. Sometimes you see the average is a little bit lower, around 103. Uh, whites average about 100. A few estimates may place it a little bit higher and say 103. Uh, black Americans average about 85. And again, uh, blacks in Canada or Britain or in the Caribbean average around 85 too, maybe slightly higher, up as high as 90. But it's the very far bar on that graph which has excited a lot of controversy, the IQ of 70. Because an IQ of 70 is the lowest IQ ever found in the world. And it's based on 20 or 30 different studies from East, South, West, and Central uh, Africa. And it really doesn't seem to change even if you select the population to be studied from um, people in primary school, uh, people who've got jobs, people in urban centers. In other words, samples that might be thought to have a slightly higher IQ. Um, the average of 70 to maybe 75 consistently comes out. Um, I should put it into context. If white people in, Can in Canada or the United States have an IQ of 70, this is considered borderline mentally retarded. So to, to, to uh, label an entire continent as having an average IQ of 70, in which case 50% of the African population fall below an IQ of 70. 50% of the African continent by white standards is mentally retarded, 